Hello, everyone. Lou Lombardi here, a.k.a. Lou Dini, and you are listening to the Lou Dini Rock and Roll Circus. Today I've got Charlie and Andrew on the phone from the band The Soft Underground. So the two bonded over their enthusiasm of bands like The Smashing Pumpkins and My Bloody Valentine. And after many gigs playing under different incarnations of the band, the duo eventually uh, recruited vocalist Brandon to begin working on their debut album, Lost in Translation. A- absolutely beautiful record, and I'm really excited to have the guys here. My drum teacher recommended school of rock because you get to play with other people it was sort of like a like an extracurricular place for like young musicians young kids all the way up to like high school age you get a bunch of different kids playing different types of music on different days so yeah we met at school of rock and started talking about smashing pumpkins and all that stuff and got familiar (laughs) with each other's tastes and started jamming together is this self-produced or did you guys work with an outside producer? And I, and I understand you, rec- you recorded in a couple of different locations. You can go ahead and talk about that, too. The entire thing is self-produced. We recorded everything ourselves with, like, a couple of people that we knew, friends of ours and people that Andrew had worked with at his studio. Brandon only came in towards the end of the sessions because we had a different singer who ended up leaving in the middle of the recording. He's a bit of a saving grace in that <laughs> regard, so. Yeah. Can you guys tell us what the next... Uh, six to 12 months looks like for the soft underground. What what, what do you guys have coming up? This week we've been recording some new music in New Jersey. We're going to officially begin working on our next album in August in Memphis and try to blow the first one out of the water. After like years of performing and writing and stuff like that, our own artistic ambitions are sort of coming full circle. Yeah, 
it works better with that one. And, and then, but, and then when it all kicks in, yeah, then, yeah then go more just intense. Just full. We should give the pickle a fair chance. Fuck the pickle. I'm not <laughs> playing that. <laughs> He's not gonna fucking answer. This person cannot be reached at the moment. Please leave a message after the. T Shut the fuck up. I need to record vocals Friday and Saturday. Saturday, the photo shoot needs to happen. We literally have these two days booked. Yeah. And we need and you to come I, in. And we've dude. talked a month in advance. We have, it's like we could literally do everything <laughs> in one day, and then a photo shoot the next day, and he could leave right after the photo shoot. I hate. I just hate to blow up someone's phone, but. We had something scheduled. It's starting to stress me out because I'm like, dude, I don't... It's I like, like having good recording sessions. I like to be, you know, make sure that we're all... Everything goes smooth and we're all successful while we're in here. You know, and everything goes right. You know what the problem is, you can at least come up with a solution, you know what I'm saying? But if somebody doesn't communicate with you, then yeah. you don't know what you're dealing you with. You can't work out anything. Yeah, you can't work out anything, because you don't know whether or not this person's going to call you up in the last minute and say, hey, I'm on the way, or whether you should be looking for another singer or looking for a different solution to the problem. You know, it's yeah. frustrating as well. Just do it from the beginning. Fucking do it again. You fucking came. Man. I'm like holding my breath playing this shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the two, the two choruses at the, at the end, after it explodes. 
Yeah, I couldn't hear any hit. <laughs> y'all just do this and not have to deal with idiots like me? Why didn't y'all just... He played half of it. Okay, good. You're playing half, he played the other half. Oh, per I was yeah. going to say, what? Why'd you bring the monkey in? Holy fuck, we could have left this idiot at home. You're for our documentary. <laughs> it's a dramatic... Th Are you... Oh. <laughs> it's a dramatic thing. <laughs> escape that smashing pumpkins thing you know what i'm saying there is i feel too much of that in a dream <laughs> there is no going back <laughs> so, <laughs> so what you do what you're, hearing you're so on it though like you, it. You, you <laughs> that's what i'm just saying you add some extra something that's what i was trying to say earlier now you guys must get together and flex and say you know what now here is what we are, and you add it to it. You two are really good. So add something, something. Go find what it is. Of course we, influences are everything. You must now destroy your influences.
can dig it. I can't keep booking photo things when he says he's gonna come because it's been, this is the second one that like I've, the last one I canceled. This one I'm just doing it because he's here and it's like, just well, get it, two of the three yeah, five. get it done. Actually recording the vocals is the most important thing. Yeah. And it would have been so much easier if he had just come up last night. We would have had like 90% of the vocals done last night and then finished the rest today. Pictures, and then he could have been gone by this evening. And he would have been paid to do all this for basically doing nothing Except but singing, taking right? a picture and singing songs that are already written. He's not even writing anything. It's just... And I would have met him. That would have been a plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, when do you head back up there? I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Fuck. Yeah. This guy's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bring your face this way for me. The eyes here. <laughs> get calls from Will on the weekends because we usually we work on during the week you know he's like sorry to bother you on a Sunday uh, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that I tried getting into the studio and we've been locked out and my key doesn't work and I'm like well, what the fuck happened and apparently the owner of the studio he basically fired us and just never said anything. Either. So it really was the whole staff? Yeah. That he fired? He fired everybody. He never told you guys, like, why he did it? No. It's created all sorts of fucking problems for us because now we've mixed an entire album, minus vocals. And now we're going to other studios, basically starting from square one on mixing again because this guy fucked us over. He didn't even give us two weeks' notice. Not even one week's notice. So it's like, what, like, what the fuck were we supposed to do?
There's a guy from this band, uh, Star and Lysi. I'm kind of like acquainted with him since he's, he lives here. I could get him on a weekend and just like do as much as we can. I was thinking that he would probably be our best bet at the moment. And, uh, and I could see if he would want to do it. So nice, please tell me when you finally come in yourself to speak. Draw out all your insecurities Before your blood can stain for Proceed to memory Let me hold your hand And I'll let you see the darkest side of the moon If you let me Now I'm moving on I've waited long enough Always too far gone Young nine has aged to dawn What is the um, soft underground experience? What do what are people? What what do you want people to come away with? Hmm. It's tough. I don't know. <laughs> I we're still working through the experience ourselves. So. <laughs> <laughs>